Hey everyone, it's Cece from One Green Pea. One of my favorite things to do when people come over is to give them a plant tour. And I don't know about you, but I haven't had a lot of in-home visitors lately. And my plant tour videos tend to be among my best um, successes on YouTube. So I thought I'll just do an update. Now, if you've seen my plant tour videos before, hold on, don't leave. I have gotten a lot of new plants. I've killed some of the plants from the old videos. I've moved things around, moved them in, moved them out. So there's plenty more to see. So I hope you'll stick around and watch a plant tour of the plantiest room in my house. Let's just start here and just make our way around the room. This is my Ficus lorata or fiddle leaf fig. Now, I know some people consider these plants difficult. I have not had trouble with mine, and I think it's because he gets a lot of natural light that is an east-facing bank of windows, and as you'll see over there, that is a south-facing bank, so a lot of natural light, and I'm really careful with watering. He's got a nice branch coming off over here and another one right here. I briefly considered cutting this one off and propagating it, but I didn't. I've left it alone for now. So uh, this guy is a begonia maculata polka dot and it actually started as three smaller plants that um, I put together and I've done that in several uh, different plants because I tend to like having one bigger plant rather than a grouping of smaller plants and I also gave him something to climb and he's got a lot of new growth. I'll bring you in closer when I'm done talking about these so you can see um, the detail. Over here, Ficus benjamina, again, for some people, tends to kind of be a persnickety plant. Now, I have to admit I nearly killed him maybe three years ago before I really got into plant collecting and I neglected watering him and he dropped a lot of leaves, but he has come back. He has so much new growth. In fact, I just actually shifted him a little bit so he's closer to the window and so much new growth is coming on. So I'll give you an uh, up close of these three. Okay, moving over to the corner. I have two Rex begonias. This one is called Jurassic Watermelon and he spent the summer outside. So he's just transitioned inside and he's not very happy. He's kind of crispy. Um, but what I have found with Rex begonias is that they take well to a hard trimming. I can prune him all the way back, which I'm going to do. The, um, crispy leaves. And if you look inside, there's new growth happening in here. So he's going to come back fine. This uh, begonia, I don't know the name of this variety, but he lived inside all summer and he's super happy. The last one on this um, little box is called a ficus umbellata. So I don't have a lot to say about this plant because I don't really love it. I bought it at a plant store on the recommendation of the owner, who I love. Mm, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. I'm going to stop with that. It's fine. And down here, this is my Philodendron Jungle Boogie. Now I have another one uh, we'll see as we move around the room. I divided this plant and these spectacular. This was the smaller of the two. I adore this plant. Look at the cool, whoa, shape of those leaves. He needs some support, clearly. He's flopping around. Quick look up here. This is my Skindapsis pictus. He is so happy. He gets indirect light from this east-facing window, and it seems to be enough. Okay, these plants get the prime position of sitting in 
the windowsill of this east facing bank of windows. Now filming into this makes it a little tricky, but we'll just do it quickly. Okay, this is my raindrop peperomia. He has grown really well. I love the giant leaves that he's putting out and I'm obviously happy because he's making a flower. Inflorescence is what they call those. This is another peperomia. This is an obtusifolia of which I have several. I um, started this plant from leaf cuttings and it took a really long time for them to root, but so far it is doing really well. Something kind of interesting, quick note on um, propagating peperomia, the most of the leaves are on the outside that I propagated, that I started with, and they're all, as you can see, variegated, but the new babies are not. And I had heard that would happen, but I needed to see it for real, and it's true. Moving on, window two. This is a philodendron pink princess that I've recently gotten, getting a new leaf pushing out here. String of pearls, Senecio rolianus. And I like uh, that this one, this variety, uh, the name escapes me, has purple stems instead of green, so super pretty. And my Hoya compacta, which was a gift. And probably this guy's doubled in size in a year. This is just a um, Epipremnum aureum apothos. I propagated this particularly because I liked the variegation. I thought that it was really pretty and I wanted to see if it would produce more leaves like that. So this one, um, I just recently moved to soil long ago. So we'll see. And finally, a uh, another cane begonia. I bought this one this summer because it looked like it had some polka dotting, but most of the leaves have not polka dotted. It's called, it, well, let's see, torch pink, this variety is called. Um, so I wish that it had more polka dotting, but it doesn't end very thirsty. One more that sits down here at the base of my bike is my Dracaena trifasciata laurentii snake plant. And uh, this new leaf is such a delight. It's like so much taller than the others. And he's actually putting out another new leaf down here. So that'd be super cool if all of them were really tall. Up here in the corner is my Tradescantia. He is getting light from both the east and the south and he's very happy. I continue to trim him to propagate, um, both to fill in that little pot that's in the planter and to give away, because it's so easy. These windows are south facing, so one might assume that there is um, pretty intense light from there, but they are protected um, with a little roof extension over that balcony. So it moderates the light, and a lot of my plants really like this exposure. Over in the corner is a Pilea peperomioides. He was a propagate of the bigger one I'll show you in a minute. This is a philodendron deja vu. This was a gift and it was tiny when I got it. It's really growing well. And a philodendron micans. And this one is fairly new and is seeing some nice growth over here. It likes this kind of light. I have a series of floor plants along this um, wall of windows. So I'll just name them and talk as briefly as I can about them. This is a Dracaena, and I don't know anything more about it except that it's super dependable and super easy, low maintenance. This is a pot of jade. Uh, I just posted to my Instagram about this, how I combined three jade plants, they're different jade plants, into that one pot. Because like I said over there with my Begonia Maculata, I prefer one big pot, really full, than a lot of smaller plants. This is a yucca cane, and he was a gift, and when I got him, I was a little like, that's kind of a strange plant, but I think he's really cool, and he's grown a lot, and again, easy, very low maintenance. 
Okay, moving into this corner, this is a ficus elastica or rubber tree. He is one of my favorites. I have just recently given him this support. He just continues to grow, loves the southern exposure, and um, is doing really, really well. Now this leaf, if you looked really closely, you would see that it's starting to turn yellow, which means it's in the dying process. That is totally okay. It's one of the bottom leaves, so older leaf, and it's done its part. It has contributed to the plant, the plant is done with it, and so it's in the um, long, slow goodbye. This is the bigger jungle boogie. I showed you the smaller one on the other side, and I continue to get new growth out of him. Philodendron black cardinal. Really cool color. I call this my rhubarb plant because I think it looks like rhubarb. This is my Strelitzia nicolai, which is bird of paradise. He recently opened this new leaf and it's very weird. I'll show you a close up on that. And my Pilea peperomioides, this is the mother plant. This plant is rather old and some of these leaves down at the bottom just look really bad. Again, just like on the rubber tree, they're done. They have contributed to photosynthesis and the plant is more interested in pushing out new growth, both tall and all these little babies in here. So they're gonna fall off. My final corner of plants. This is another pothos, Epipremnum aureum. I got him as a cutting and the leaves were just giant and I wanted to emphasize that and just um, do something different with him. So I gave him this tall stick from my yard that I thought was very sculptural and I have um, tied him up to that and he continues to grow. Now, as he grows up, these are newer leaves and they're a lot smaller, but I'm just kind of playing and seeing what happens here. This is an anthurium lipstick plant that I bought at the grocery store because it had this beautiful, these beautiful red flowers. And since I've gotten it, um, of course the flowers have died and it hasn't done a lot. So he just kind of sits in here. My big aloe vera plant. And then the final plant to talk about today is my Zamiococcus zamiofolia, which is the ZZ plant, of course. And I have also divided this plant and um, he's just beautiful and wonderful and have even propagated some of the stems. Thank you so much for watching my plant tour video and congratulations for making it all the way to the end. I always intend for these to be shorter than they are, but like I said, I really enjoy talking about my plants. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button. I come out about once a week with new plant videos, plant care tips. I like to introduce various plant um, varieties, and sometimes we just have a plant chat. As always, my plant friends, let's keep growing together a greener world.